nigga. Coke fed, press some head, let's get in the car. I said, she grabbed my head, girl's rest, you met the bar, witness it. Tears fled the head, I'm weak, not dead, she sweet, I guess she confess, she thinking less, I'm drinking less. Bathroom says, best to get spontaneous, I stereotype. Put to rest tonight, tonight, tonight. Imagine, believe, and achieve, it works. Skyline as a rise, like fire works. Don't touch my perp. Yo, hello everybody and welcome to this edition of After the Storm, your OKC Thunder post-game live stream analysis show, uh, joined by my guy Nathan Taylor. Well, I mean, you know, you alive, man? I can't believe you're actually on air. I mean, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know you still existed, bro. You've been work. Uh, the commander has been working you so hard, bro. I didn't know you still existed, man. <laughs> as you should, as you should. Uh, the Thunder took care of business tonight. I'm trying to, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera right now. I'm trying to get uh, everybody's names in here because uh, earlier today when I tried to do the show, uh, I was at uh, the barbecue place today, uh, Georgia's, and I couldn't get everybody in because every time I tried to put, you know, would go and try to put my phone to put all the names in, it would freeze up on the, on my screen because it was you know I was going through my phone I've got to I've got to get me some sort of because their their uh their uh Wi-Fi hurts is messed up there because they go they gave me the main uh, Wi-Fi and they, so many people are in there and it's just packed so anyway but anyway the Thunder took care of business tonight one nineteen one twelve over the Pelicans uh becoming the eighth uh fifty win t season this their eighth fifty win season in this last what is it fourteen fifteen years. Their eighth fifty win season, which joins the Spurs, the Lakers. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was gonna say fifteen. I think it's sixteen years. Is this the sixteenth season? I think it's sixteen. Yeah, what whatever it is, it's uh yeah. So eight of the eight of the sixteen years we've been here, we've been we've had fifty wins. So uh even though this was a tough one, the fact that you joined such an elite group and we'll talk about that uh in detail because I mean you gotta you gotta have the Spurs, you gotta have the Lakers, you gotta have I don't think the Celtics have had – yeah, they've had eight 50-win seasons because what are they in now, 50 <laughs> – what are they now, 57 wins, 58 wins? But we'll pull that up here in a minute when I do the – when I do the uh, the brackets. Man, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what's – Hey, no, it's okay. Can I, I'll just go ahead and take over for a couple of minutes, uh, you know, 10 seconds. <laughs> I just want to – I want to give a shout-out to our um, – to our loyal uh, on-air companion, Drew Henthorn. Um, oh Lord, what did what did Drew do? I, I want to give I want to give him I want to give him a pass tonight because what I think and, and and we we don't disagree and anybody who's an NBA fan shouldn't. When it comes to the NBA, the standard you have to meet is the Celtics and the Lakers. One hundred percent. They're at eighteen. So they're at eighteen championships each. So yeah. And I don't blame the Laker fan in him. I think I think the Dallas Cowboy fan is bleeding into his Laker. Oh, fan. there's no question. I'm a Laker fan. Listen, my deal is this: Lakers, hey, Nathan, Lakers won, Thunder won a. I'm a Thunder fan, except when they play the Lakers, and that's it is what it is. But as a Laker fan, do you get excited about a, a win from the Bucks in the middle of the season when you're in the ninth seat? No, I, I'm I'm glad the Thunder. I'm glad the Lakers won without without uh, without uh, LeBron. Yes, no doubt. But I, I'm not a LeBron fan. So I mean, that's okay. Everybody, okay. I understand. Okay, let, let's bring everybody up. Okay, so we we have a text chain, and what we basically were saying was the dynasties of the NBA, which are the Lakers, the yep. the Celtics, and the Bulls, and the the uh, Warriors, and San Antonio. And Drew said that it was only. The Lakers, Chicago, and San Antonio. I mean, Lakers, Chicago, and Boston. Which is, you you can't yep. you can't leave out the other two. I'm sorry, I mean, and I you, hate you, this. You, I, you'd have thought, to be honest, you'd have thought tonight that you know L.A. won their 19. Yeah, the way he was excited. I mean, I'm I'm not that excited, but I'm more excited about the fact that the Thunder have their eighth 50 win se eighth, eighth 50 win season. But to me, that's and we're the third NBA team this awesome. year to have 50 wins. So. You know, that's an accomplishment uh, it, all in itself. It's, it's hard to have a dynasty like that, especially in a small market, man. Well, San Antonio was one of five. Well, but, I mean, but Nathan, but Nathan, but Nathan, first of all, you tanked and you got David Robinson. You tanked and you got, uh, uh, what, oh, my God, my that's man. Uh, oh, my God, what's his name? Uh, 
greatest power forward of all time. Uh, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Tim, Tim Duncan. And then you tanked and you got Wimbin Yama. Okay. <laughs> I mean, so and then, what, you know, you know what, what you're saying, what you're saying is backing me up even more because that just makes it lucky in the small market. Yes. Yes. 100%. I mean, I'm going to give San Antonio their, their, their flowers. They deserved it. But you know, tonight, uh, the thunder, I thought Josh Giddy. uh, we've talked about that. Josh Giddy is starting out fantastic. Uh, you know, I mean, he was, it was an eight to two. <laughs> he had eight and they had two. I mean, Josh is just playing well, but like I said, every, the beginning of the year, I'm giving Josh Giddy a pass. And today at the bar, at the, uh, at uh, George's Happy Hog, I was talking to some people about that today. I'm like, you know, they were beating up on Josh. And I said, listen, you can't beat up on a guy who had the chance to, who could have went to prison. I don't care what job you have. I don't care what the situation is. When you're about to go to prison, nothing else matters but keeping staying out of jail. That's all that matters. You ain't thinking about basketball. You ain't thinking about nothing else but that. So I give Josh a pass. Now, that being said, the last, what, Nathan, Three weeks, in maybe. Games. In games, yeah. Yeah, so he's been he's been trying to play. But my problem is Josh is now in the preseason or the beginning of the year as far as him trying to catch up, and we're at the end of the year as far as the team. But Josh is at the beginning of the year as far as his play because now he's playing free. And like I said, an aggressive Josh Giddy. I love an address, aggressive Josh Giddy. When we started doing this show two years, year and a half ago, the, the the connection between SGA and Josh was fantastic because Josh was aggressive. And I'm like, anytime Josh is aggressive, I love that. Then you get J-Dub, and then J-Dub brings it in. And then this year you get Chet and Kaysen. But Josh was kind of on the back burner. So that's how it worked. But anyway, to start the game, I, I thought the Thunder came out with good energy. Uh, I loved what I saw in the very first quarter. Uh, J-Dub was on fire. SGA took, what, two shots the first quarter, Nathan, or something like that. Then they put a new wrinkle in, which you and I had discussed in our text chain, where they put uh, they put SGA out with, what, seven minutes to go, six minutes to go, something like that, which is what they normally do with J-Dub. They left J-Dub in the game when they normally leave SGA in the game, and the SGA plays the whole third quarter, the whole first quarter. But they didn't do that. They went ahead and they switched him out, put SGA on the bench, gave him two minutes rest, and then put him back or three minutes rest and put him in with two minutes to go in the first in the first quarter and he came back. And then he started the second quarter. So uh what was your thought process on when they did that? I mean, I was shocked. But, you know, I understood what they're trying to do something good. different. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a fiasco to be honest with you, but I actually turned out to kinda like it. Yeah. Um because I, I like to see, and if you look at the, and we're going to talk about this in a little bit, but you look at the total minutes. It was the like same. Because SGA had 38 and J-Dub had 34. No, no, no. But I'm saying in, so, the first, in the first half. We're talking about the first half. No, I'm just saying overall. Though. I know, but in the first half, he normally plays 17, 18 minutes. And he played 17 even though they split it up. He still played the same amount of minutes. It was just split up. If you follow he what I'm saying. And he normally does. Yeah, but what I'm saying is he, he came in with eight minutes in the fourth quarter. That's why. But, uh, you, you know, the first half, I, I liked what I saw. When I saw that, I'm like, okay, because remember I think you texted me about the seven, about whether he played the same amount or mm-hmm. something? Yeah. And he plays about 17 yeah. minutes. He plays yeah. the whole sec- first quarter, which is 12 minutes, and he usually brings him in with about five or four minutes to go in the second quarter. So – he just split it up, which is what most teams do. They don't usually don't let their star player play the whole quarter. What he basically does is he plays so much, and they sit him out, bring him back in at the at the uh, end of the first quarter, and then the second or start him second quarter or whatever. So I liked what they did with that in the second quarter. Uh, the Thunder were up, what, 33-24. You had SGA, Kaysen, Chet, Isaiah, Joe, and K. Rich. Once again, where the hell is Wiggins? Where's Wiggins? Oh, my God, dude. Where's Wiggins? He didn't play. I'm sorry, Gordon Hayward. Gordon, I, you need to be on the bench, man. I, I don't. I don't. I, you know, the, the Thunder are struggling. You know, I was listening to the radio. And by the way, the radio on WWLS, he's, he gives some fantastic notes, dude. He is, he's really good. Mm-hmm. And now I got it, I've got, it, really I've got yeah. it synced to where it's all, well, I'm just barely ahead when he's calling the game now because when I sync it, it's just it's almost right there together with the Bollies deal. But he's so much better than listening to those other two. It's just ridiculous. Well, it is not even thing. close. With Pinto, 
I, I, I haven't ever, well, not ever, but I very rarely listen to any other NBA broadcasts like on the radio other than Pinto. So I don't, I don't have really a scale to judge it on. But to me, I would think he's dang near one of the best, man. He really is good. And the stuff that he gives, the little notes – and the things that he gives, oh, yeah. Yeah. I was really, really impressed. But then, once again, the second quarter, what did you do? You took the ball in SGA's hands. And what did he do? Deliver. Yeah. I'm like, to me, he shoots 61%. He is the leading pressure field goal shooter in the NBA, and you don't put the ball in his hands. I mean, you can't – there's no way in hell you can explain that. If you're trying to win, that is. Now, if you're not trying to win, yeah, play whoever, give the ball, whatever. But if you're trying to win, how do you not put the ball in the best player's hands in the NBA? How do you not do that? If you're trying to win now. If you're not, hey, I get it, understand. But that reminds me, everybody, uh, that reminds me, if you want to comment on what we're talking about, hey, please go to YouTube, search uh, after the storm dash OKC Thunder, and you go ahead and you can ask us any questions or you can comment on whatever we're talking about. Give your opinion. Hey, it'll be right here where I can see it on the screen, or you can just ask any questions. And, you know, because on my Facebook, I really can't see what you're doing. So after the storm dash OKC Thunder, like, subscribe, hit notifications, and please ask questions. You can just sit there like I think we have five or six people in the in the room right now. So, hey, guys, go ahead and ask questions or just comment on what we're talking about, if you have an opinion about what Nathan and I are talking about, please go ahead or ask the questions or whatever you want to do. But anyway, Nathan. Uh, hey, if you want to dog on Drew Henthorn, feel free, man. Well, we don't feel care about that. But, you know, the focus on where we're at is just, to me, it's like I love what I saw at the Thunder. I love them putting the ball in SGA's hands at the end of the half. I mean, that's – he's your best player. I mean, period. Uh, and I don't mind what they did breaking his minutes up. It's a nice change from him playing the whole third first quarter. And as long as he's playing the same amount of time, I'm cool with that. So I liked him starting, giving us that little bit of extra ump in the second quarter. So, but anyway, yeah. And it, so, so I liked what I saw right there. Now, in the at halftime, uh, I was a little, I don't know, weirded out. I mean, we had 73 points, but it was just weird. Chet uh, had nine points in 16 minutes with four rebounds, three assists, one block which in 16 minutes, that's pretty good. J-Dub in 16 minutes had 18 points. Uh, he was three for five from three, two rebounds, three assists, and I thought he was integral in getting us going uh, in that first and second quarter. I thought he played really, excuse me, really, really good the first quarter, first half. SGA in 18 minutes only shot nine times, was five for nine. Uh, he did get to the free throw line, even though at the end of the game, he got fouled twice. He got hit on the wrist twice. The ball was short and they're talking about a block. Are you kidding me? He, you blocking his fadeaway, but clearly you're hitting him on the wrist. It's just whatever. Anyway, SGA, 13 points, uh, two rebounds, three assists. Like what I saw out of him. Josh Giddy, dude. <laughs> I, 10 points going, in 12 Keep minutes, four for seven from the field, two for four from three, four rebounds, three assists. And I really like the fact that he was actually rebounding and getting assists. So when he's aggressive, I really love the fact that uh, that he played uh, great. Twelve, that played basically half the first half. Twelve minutes and twenty out of twenty-four. Lou Dort once again one for three, trying to go to the basket and making plays. It was pathetic. Three points, zero for two, two rebounds, one assist, uh, one steal from Lou. And then Jay Will, I thought Drew's that's Drew's boy, Jay Will. Uh, eight minutes, <laughs> three points. That's that's your boy, Jay Drew. You know that's your boy, Jay Will. Yeah. Uh, three points. Uh, four rebounds, two assists in eight minutes. I thought he played pretty well. Gordon Hayward, I don't understand why he's playing at all. I just I, – Why is he not I, I, I don't know. No – hey, zero shots. He played six minutes. No shots, no rebounds, no assists. He had zeros across the board in six minutes. He just – he's a really, really good player. He just doesn't fit in with what the Thunder do. He doesn't fit in with our team. He just doesn't. No. Nope. He just Brad's doesn't. Great bringing the bench down with him. Yeah, he's just – it's just the stats have gone down. Everybody's stats are going down since he got in. It's just – it's terrible. Kendrick Williams, eight minutes, uh, four points, two for two with one rebound, one assist, one steal. Uh, Isaiah Joe, 12 minutes, two for three. Uh, like like the fact that he was actually making some threes tonight in the first half. And then Casey Wallace, our dude, uh, seven points in ten minutes with uh, three for three from the field, one rebound, one and uh, – 
So not bad for him. But the Thunder scoring 73 points, shooting, which is crazy, 62% from the field, 50% from three. I mean, and of course we lead the NBA in field goal percent and in free throw percentage. So eighty-seven point five. I mean, woo woo. Of course, what what do we yep. think of that? So I, I like the playoffs. Yes, I liked what I saw. It was very tight. This the scoring and what the officials are doing are getting us ready for the second half of the season for this for the playoffs. That's this is playoff basketball. And Drew and I have talked about it many times. Is that at the end of the year? They're not going to be calling fouls, a lot of fouls, except Zion was getting every call going to the basket. I'm like, he's 6'8", 300 pounds. Are you calling fouls? Yeah. I mean, what the hell are you doing? I didn't, I didn't really understand that. Uh, what was your thought process, Drew? And I, I, yeah, I thought they played great in the first half. I, I figured out the way that I watched Thunder games. See, I sit upstairs, and I got the Lakers on the big TV, and I got the Thunder on the small TV, so I have to hear their announcers. Uh-huh. And I oh. watch the game. <laughs> but I thought they played great. Looked like they shot lights out. Uh, a lot of good ball movement. <coughs> I mean, they were shooting a lot of wide open shots, so that means the ball was moving fast. And and uh, I thought Giddy played well in the first half. He he looks like he's playing for another contract. Well, so, remember next year. That's part of the Thunder have about ninety four, ninety five million, yeah. and you've got to sign Josh, J Dub, uh, Chet, and J Will. You know what I have to say, Jay Will. You, I still don't think Giddy. I still don't think Giddy and Dort are going to be here next year, but that's me. Yeah, I think they'll be here at least through uh, the uh, through the trade deadline. Yeah, depends who they draft too. Yeah, it depends well, on who. I'm now that one hundred percent depends on who they draft. I agree. I agree yeah, with that one hundred percent. You got to sign Wiggins. Uh, yeah, Wiggins you got to sign Wiggins again. Yeah, but he didn't play tonight. I just don't understand that at all. Now I do understand why why they did not play. Uh, oh, what's our guy's name for? Uh, New Orleans to play for the Lakers. Ingram. We drafted him. Ingram. Ingram. I do understand why they didn't play him. Because yeah, what, what was what was wrong with him? Nothing. I think that was a okay. We're not we're not showing you everything we're going to be right now. To yeah, the Thunder it could be a playoff match. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they're like, okay, if we we're not going to catch you, okay, mm-hmm. you're too far ahead of us. So we know we're going to go to your place. Why am yeah, I going to show kinda, you everything? They're kind of welded into that that spot there. Their spot, playoffs, yes, right yes. But it all depends on what the Thunder do in these next nine games. So, mm-hmm. but anyway, start the second half. You started with your starters. I did not like our energy to start the sec the second oh, half. I didn't like flat. Yeah, I didn't like what we were doing. I didn't like you know your lineups. Uh, the lineup that you had, we were up ninety eighty two. Well, we were up ninety seventy eight. And then you bring in Isaiah Joe for dub, and then you Jay Will for check, and it just it, the lineup was just it just it didn't flow with Hayward in that group. I'm like SGA no, I, Joe I, Case I and Hayward lost, Jay Will. Isaiah Joe's lost all flow of his game. All flow, winning. all flow, all flow because he's trying to do too. He's trying to go off the dribble and do a bunch of other mm-hmm. stuff, dude. And he's not sure when he's going to get to play anymore. Yep, and he's not because of Hayward. They it. Yeah. The, the, the Thunder's chemistry is completely thrown out of whack because of that. Can we and all say Sam, Sam Presti dropped the ball on this one? You 100% he had. <laughs> I mean, 100%. I, I'll give you props whenever he signs, guys, but this is a bad sign. Well, he, si- I, he signed it for the money, Drew. Yeah. He signed it for the, the money. money. It's the money. He signed it for the money for yeah, next year. That's why I took it. But I'm sorry, 30 Didn't minutes. Bench, yeah, my deal is just playing him 30 minutes yeah, in the Pacers crazy. game, starting him. Yeah. He's your seventh game of the year. You're in game what number fifty something, and you're playing especially a guy. Against, I mean, really? Against those guys, who yes. Down the floor like no other. It was terrible. It was hey, sorry. Well, you caught he, he caught, but once again, the Thunder coach cost us a game. I'm very shocked that that happened. I mean, what a, what a shocker. But anyway, I did not like the energy. So you start the fourth quarter, and this is the deal. The Thunder have 44 wins after I think they're 44 and five or seven or something after leading the fourth quarter, third quarter. Yeah. Yep. The Pelicans have zero wins when not leading after the third quarter. <laughs> I did oh, not know crazy, that. Pat. Zero that's wins crazy. if not leading after the third quarter. Zero wins this year. That's crazy stat right there. You have no yeah, wins. You, now that's 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 really strange too because they got McCollum and they got and they got. Uh, they got the Zion, Ingram, and Zion. Ingram, yeah. They've had guys yeah. that can go get you buckets and make a comeback. Yeah, they're zero. They're zero and sixteen. They were zero and sixteen for this year after after lo- not winning the third. Why losing. did Why did Valanciunas not play more? Dude, he kills us. Because once you once you get down, you can't. Once you get down twenty, which is what Golden State did forever. 
they get yeah, you down. You, you can't you can't be big. You can't you can't no. go big against them. You have to line up. And when the Thunder got up twenty, and then they fought their way back in the third quarter, still the momentum it just your your momentum was more with little guys than it was with big dudes. Yep. So that's why they did that, which I understood. So yeah, that up to, they went they went straight up tempo. Straight up tempo. Yeah. And the, but you know the lineups I've got them out here. Lineup, lineup, lineup. You can't you, you the lineups you play dictate what you do. Mm-hmm. It ju- it just does. You can't play yeah. certain people. You can't. I mean, it just doesn't work. And once the uh, this is and the okay, NBA. And OKC okay, so <clears> came <throat> out extremely flat in the third quarter. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah they did. But they did. Drew, Drew, they were still up twelve. Yep. Okay. At ninety seventy eight, when they they substitute Joe Isaiah Joe for J Dub, and then they substituted uh, this lineup. It had Isaiah Joe, Kaysen, SGA, Hayward, and Dor. When they put Hayward in the game, Hayward for Josh. J. Will for Chet, and it just went downhill from there. Yeah. It just did. When you took Josh, J. Will, and Chet, I mean, Josh, J. Dub, and Chet out the game, it, you know, to replace them with Hayward, it just, it, it was never the same. They got, you know, yeah. this is the NBA. I don't care who you are. In the NBA, they get rolling, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, you know? So, remember the beginning of the year when he did what he did, and they went on, what did they go on us, 90 to 60 run after the second quarter or something stupid when they just destroyed us. So, anyway, come back in the fourth quarter. Uh, I thought the biggest – I thought the, the plays of the game, to me, to save the Thunder, was uh, SGA shot, then the steal right after that, and the transitional bucket. Okay, Dort's three, remember? Yep. That was a difference. So I, so I missed score. about a minute and a half of the game, and it was a 111-111, and I looked up, and it was 115-112 or something like that. Right. I missed what happened right there. SGA hit a three, came down, got a steal, and then uh, Dort hit a three. Okay. We went on a 12-0 run at them at that point. But yeah, the that but the, but the door, but the SGA three with the steal right after that, and then the Dort three for that went boom boom. That was the end of it for them. Yep, that was a stroke. And he, then he it, then J, the two and a half minutes. Yeah, then J Dub uh, scored a bucket at the end too, and so that was nice too for him to score because he only scored five points to seven, seven points to seven. Well, he scored if you count the two free throws, he scored seven points the second half. But what he had possession. I was going to say I didn't like because you got two minutes or maybe a little over a minute to go. You come up the floor and you saw it right before half court. SGA's got the ball. J Dub goes up to him to get the ball. He kind of waves him off. Did work. Well, do- no, 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 no. Dagnot waved him off. Dagnot waved okay. him off. It okay. was Dagnot. Well, yeah. that's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, he waved him off. That's good. But then he. He ended up taking a shot, and I was like, "Dude, come on!" Well, that because come SGA on. SGA he drove makes, towards he, him, pulled his man off, and kicked it to him. Yeah. Okay. okay. Then, which is why I say that SGA should have the ball in his hands because he's going to know. Look, I'm looking for my shot first. Then I'm going to whenever I hit it up. And J Dub is base is best, right? Someone's and J Dub is best is best in space when he can attack the basket and there's space and driving lane. He is best at that. He's really good that's, at that. That's where my knowledge lacks because I don't have the I don't ha- I don't know the nuances of it like you guys do. So that's where my 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 knowledge lacks. Well, that's that's where he's good at. So, uh, but anyway, so, he shoots ninety percent from the free throw line. If he gets fouled, he's got the ball in his hand. He's gonna go sink two free throws. You know well, he's only fouling? Drew. He's at eighty two, I think, or eighty four. Uh, you know what I mean? He's he's a bucket when it comes to free yeah, throws. Yeah, he is. Time. Yeah, he is. But you know, that's the thing is that that's why I don't understand. SGA has a sick. He leads the NBA. In buckets when you gotta have them, yep. and you don't put the ball in his hands. What kind of coach are you? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I mean, like I said earlier today, you think the Denver Nuggets are gonna put not put it in Jokic's hands and he's second in the NBA in clutch time points. LeBron is third in clutch time points. Are they gonna put it in somebody else's hands or are they gonna put it in their hands and let them make the decisions? Yeah, the Thunder puts it in J Dub's hands. Are you kidding me? I don't get it, but anyway, the Thunder ended up taking care of business, and now their fiftieth win of the of the year, and they have eight fifty win seasons, and that's just huge win for them tonight. That's crazy. Going on this road trip, that was a big win. That was crazy. And here is the thing that I here are the uh, the end of game, uh, here are the end of game stats. The Pelicans were fourteen for thirty eight from three. The Thunder were fifteen for thirty four. Which remember we were ten for twelve, ten for twenty at halftime. 
Okay, so we were five for fourteen in the second half. Okay, uh, field goal percentage the they were at forty five point three. The Thunder dropped from sixty two in the first half to fifty three five. We actually out rebounded them, and that's because, like you said, Nathan Valanciunas wasn't in the game. That's why we out rebounded them. Okay, and then points in the paint fifty two to fifty. We they only turned the ball over ten point ten times. Drew, isn't that, a, isn't that an anomaly for them? Only ten turnovers? Do they, or do yeah, they take care of the ball that well? Yep. And then, of course, bench scoring was 22-22. And then uh, overall box score was Chet ended up with 16 points in 33 minutes, nine rebounds, almost a double-double for him, four assists, two blocks. J-Dub in 34 minutes had 26 points, uh, two rebounds, five assists, one block. Uh, SGA in 38 minutes had 24 points. One, do you know he's, he scored – he scored uh, – Less than 30 in five out of the last six games. Have y'all know that? Did y'all know that? Did not. Uh, I did. I yeah. didn't know that exact stat. That's crazy because it was four well, out of five. I knew the whole team stats had fallen a little bit. Yep. So, I mean, so that's kind of crazy. Josh Giddy, 31 minutes, 25 points. I mean, I, you know what? I have no problem with this stat line. 25, 26, 24, 16. Yeah. That's yeah. a good stat line. That's a good you start. You get twenty five out of Josh Giddy every night. You're, you're, you're good, one hundred percent. You're getting 20, 20 points out of him. Uh, Lou get Dort, 18. look, Lou <laughs> Dort. What did I say? Lou Dort. I don't want him shooting more than seven times or eight times max or seven times in a game. Two for six, one for four, six points, six rebounds. Great night for me as far as Lou Dort is concerned. Three turnovers. J- Drew's boy Jay Will, fourteen minutes, <laughs> three points, one for one, seven rebounds though. That's key. Uh, yeah. Gordon Hayward. Zeros. Oh, 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 oh. oh for two, ten minutes, and I don't know what the hell that reverse was. He was trying to do go to the. I, I, I still don't no know what idea. the hell. That, I don't know what that was. I don't know. K. Rich, eighteen minutes, six points. Played pretty good, I thought. Six points, three rebounds. I thought he played pretty good. Yeah, uh, Rich had some. He had some clutch time buckets too. They were they were on a run, and, and K. Rich had a couple good. Buckets. No, I agree. I agree. Isaiah Joe, like to Drew's point, he was two for four. With six points, so he did not score the second half. He was 0 for 1 no, the second half. He just looks game, out of sorts, man. Before, the, before tonight's game, uh, Isaiah Joe shooting 27% from three in March. Yeah. I mean, dude, he's out of way. He's totally out of sync, dude. And then Casey Wallace in 13 minutes. Seems like he played more than that, doesn't it? But anyway, he only played 13 minutes, seven points, yeah. one rebound. So, such a good rookie. Yeah, I love him, man. I love him. Now, here's the key. Here are the NBA standings, okay, guys? Here are the standings, and this is where we stand. Everybody stands at this particular uh, point, which is, I don't know if it's good or bad. It's kind of scary when you think about it, I mean, because of where the Thunder are staying or sitting because right now uh, the Thunder have 50 wins. Uh, We're half game behind the Nuggets. Nuggets have won four straight. The T Wolves are forty nine and twenty two, uh, winners of two in a row. The Clippers losers of two. The Pelicans, of course, lost one. They're six and they're tied for fourth place. By the way, guys. Yep, I think it'll be Clippers Pels in that first round. Yeah, yeah, they're they're right there together. Depends on who's going to have the home court. Then the Kings and the Mavs. What's the score of that right now? Uh, Mavericks are up sixty two fifty five in the third the start. Of the third. Okay. Yeah, because that's now that's that game matters a lot because they're six and, and they seven. Back to back, and they play back to back. Back to back, games. yes, in in Sacramento. Yeah. yeah, and that's what's crazy. They're they're both their record is tied. They're tied, so one of them will be in sixth place. I looked at the Mavericks schedule. They got those two back to back. Then they play Golden State back to back in a few games. They got a tough schedule down there. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. They do, and the Warriors took care of business or taking care of business tonight or took care of business. Okay, and then of course uh, the Suns losers of one. I still think they're scary. The Lakers, of course, the Lakers of course got a big W tonight in uh, in Milwaukee, but they Huge match w. but they yeah. match up with them so well because yeah, they're they both do. big. I said, the, I said the same thing, Matt. That's a great matchup for LA. They yep. match up good with Milwaukee. Yep, they're big. They're both big. Yep. And then the Warriors, of course, took care of business tonight, winners of two. And then the Rockets, who we have tomorrow night, <laughs> winners of nine straight, guys. That's a tough game. And they want us, you know. But remember, they spanked us. We turned around and spanked them. So, it's, what is it, 3-1 right now? We have a 3-1 advantage over them. So, or 2-1. Two, How one, far two, the one. Rockets back two, of two, Golden one. State? 2-1. Uh, uh, game. Two games. 
It's Sunday. thirty. Yeah, they're thirty-eight, mm-hmm. thirty-four, and they're thirty, thirty-six. So they're two and a half games back. Yeah, they're four and a half back. They're three and a half back at the Lakers. Yep. So they're right. This out to you guys. The play-in, if it was Dallas, Phoenix, Golden State, and LA, how good of a play-in would that be? Oh, that's a hell of a play-in. I like it as long as Sacramento's not in that play-in. I love it. Yeah, it looks because it looks like right now that the Mavs will host the will host the Suns, the Lakers will host the Warriors or Rockets, and the Lakers will beat either one of them. Yeah, I mean they could beat either one unless Steph goes off for fifty and Clay goes off for thirty. They don't have a chance. They really don't. Okay, then you look at the East. Well, right, here's my problem with the East. Here are the Thunder. Okay, you've got to play the Bucks one more time. You've got to play who's second. You got to play the Knicks, who is in fourth. You got to play the Pacers, who are in sixth, and you got to play the Sixers, who are in eighth. That's what the Thunder have left out of their last twelve games. And the Sixers are starting to play better than the Bucks before tonight. We're one of the hottest teams in the league. Yep, yep. And so when you look at that, that's part of what and the Celtics have won. What fourteen out of fifteen? Yeah, something stupid. They're fifty-seven and fifteen. They're just ridiculous, boy. They're just rolling. They really are rolling. But here you got here's here's the Thunder next ten games. Remember we talked about there was eight games that the Thunder had to worry about. And right now we're one and one in those eight games. We lost to Milwaukee, I mean lost to the Bucks, and we beat the Pelicans. So you're one and one in between those two games. Now you have the Rockets tomorrow night and then the Suns at home on Friday. So everybody's gotta go to the damn game and support the Thunder. You gotta go to the game. You gotta, you gotta yep. be there. It's gotta be a packed house. It's gotta be a packed house, just mm-hmm. loving and loving on the Thunder. So that's the Rockets and the Suns they sold on out. Win- they on- sold out Friday night. Yep, on the Suns. So, so Wednesday and Friday night. Then this is when the ugliness comes. Are you, are you, uh, are you going with the Commander Friday? By the way? Uh, no, I'm going tomorrow. I, I'm, I don't know if I'm going Friday or not with the Commander. I don't know. So, I, so my second game all year will be uh, will be Friday night. Yeah, nice. I'll be there, Nathan. I'm. I got J Dub coming in town from San Diego, so we'll be there. Are you going? To, you said you're going to the game, Nathan. Who are you going to the game with? I am. Yeah, I'm going with uh, one of my customers. To come uh, with. Oh, nice. Nice. Are yeah, you? So oh, my daughter too. Uh, got my daughter too. Agree to a babysitter. So. Oh my God. Well then, so then you, the commanders, to giving you the tickets then. Well, I just got two. Just got two. Well then, commanders going. He's not going to miss that, bro. No. No, no, I just figured you might go with him. No, oh, Kimberly's not gonna let nobody go to the game without him, without her. Are you crazy? <laughs> Will you explain to him, Drew, how that works? That's not happening, bro. That's not how it works. That's a one and one, one and one A. That is not happening, bro. The reason, the reason I asked that is because the only other game I've been to this year was the same scenario. I had two, and he had two, and you were there, Matt. That's the only reason I asked. Yeah, but which game was it? Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, it was way back. Way and back. no, no, no. It was who the game was. He's not going to miss the Suns on a Friday night, bro. That's not happening. No, no, no he that's was not happening. Last time, though. He was there last time. Easter weekend, too. Easter last time I went. Yep. Yes, Easter weekend. Yeah, that's not happening. Nathan, is bank closed on Friday for Good Friday? No. No. We are open. Yep, we open. Because we're doing a show there, Drew. Because they got to do the show at in- Industry on Thursday, and yep. this is and we're supposed to do. I gotta ask this. I gotta ask this, man, and I don't know if you were listening earlier. Are you letting your Dallas Cowboy fandom bleed into your Laker fandom? Why is that? I just you know, I mean, golly, dude, you just thought that the Lakers won the ring tonight. Hey, it was a big win. I'll take any win right now. It, it, I don't have the luxury of winning of being having. Uh, it's the it's the August the August Dallas Cowboy fandom coming out again. No, I mean, the, this is Laker, the Lakers have to – they had to win, bro. I mean, it's at that time of year where they're sitting at. They're, they got to win. It was a more of a win for them than it was for Milwaukee. So, but anyway, we got here, – here's the, here's the scenario coming up, these next four games after that, son. You hold to the Knicks. Then you have – what is that? The Knicks on Sunday. Then you have, what, the Sixers on Monday? Is that the second? Tuesday, or is that Tuesday? Uh uh, that's Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday's the second. So you have the Sixers. Oh my God! On Sunday, you have. Excuse me. The Knicks on Sunday. That's the Sixers, Sixers on Tuesday. Game too, I think. You have the Sixers on Tuesday. Then you have the Celtics the very next night. Mm-hmm. 
And remember, the Celtics The Celtics want the Thunder because the Thunder took care of beat the Celtics here, remember? Depending on where OK sits, yep. they, they might mail that one in. Yeah, they're not going to mail it in. You can't because you, you're fighting Denver. And like I said, well, like uh, I said, like I said on the show today, you, know. you have to have home court advantage. If you're sitting in second, you have home yeah. court advantage. And if you have sitting in first, the reason why Denver is doing what they're doing and playing the players they're playing, they want home court advantage. Yeah. OKC okay, so needs to finish first or second. Right, because the whole thing is you want home court advantage. Oh, we, we if OKC okay, so finishes three. third, they're probably going to get Phoenix in the first round. Yes, and you don't want that. No. But you don't want the Lakers either. You no. don't want the Lakers in the first Well, the Lakers, the, if the Lakers finish where they're finished, they're going to be playing against uh, uh, the Nuggets. The, the Nuggets, yeah. I need You'd have the Nuggets. You don't want the one team. Yeah, you'd have the Nuggets. Yeah, I want OKC okay, to win the win. <laughs> Yeah, I do too. I want. I want. Go ahead, Nathan. No, I'm gonna say because we're guaranteed. I think we both all think they're locked into the top three. Yeah. For well, sure, right? well, no, 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 no. You're not locked into the top three because you have business. You got to take care of business over these next. Right. You have well, you have eleven games saying, left. You're probably going to be in the top three. You have you have to win. But you, but, Nate, but the thing is this, Drew. Here's the schedule. I just put up the schedule. Okay. There's no lock on anything if you're not no, playing not. well. There's not a lock, okay? You should do what you should do, but the question is, will you? I mean, just look at this. You've got the Rockets tomorrow. Then you have the Suns on Friday. You have at the Knicks on Sunday, at the Sixers on Tuesday, at the Lake, at the Celtics on Wednesday, at the Pacers on Friday. Yeah. So let so you got so you got this is the Clippers next games, which is who you we worried about if you're not going to finish in the top three. Clippers play Milwaukee, Boston. Phoenix, Orlando, San Antonio, Phoenix, the next six games. Okay, what about the Pelicans? Because they're they're right there tied. And the Pelicans play. They've got Milwaukee, Boston. <laughs> uh, the Pelicans. Then you've got no, that's the same one. That sorry, that was the Pelican schedule. But okay, I just saw the Clippers. So the Clippers play Orlando, Philly, Charlotte. Uh. Sacramento, Denver, Utah, next six games. Right, and I, that's what I'm saying. And, and, they got, and then they got Cleveland and then Phoenix twice. Yeah, but I'm saying if our six games, you have to go four and two. You can't go less than three and three in those six, our next six games. Pelicans might be in trouble. They can fall <laughs> really fast. I understand that, Drew, but it's we have – what I'm saying is our next six games, you have to go four and two, three and three at absolute worst. Yep. At absolute worst, you have to go three and three. Houston, Phoenix, New York. Houston, Phoenix, New York, Philly, Boston, Indiana. The what? Well, if you go three and three in that, I got some pretty good luck. Three and three in those six. Games. Right. You you can't. That's you can't. That's the worst you can go. Yeah. You have to go three and three in these next six games. You can't go worse than that. First of all, you have to hold serve at home, no, which we are twenty eight. I think we're twenty eight seven at home. That's, I think that's is what why we are. tonight was such a big win. I think because that kind of gave him a little bit of cushion if you drop one of those that you're not supposed to. Right. I didn't because I kind of tonight a lot of people didn't think they were going to win, but then Ingram sitting out sure helped them. So that yep. was big. Yep. So, but anyway, Drew, you got you got to go three and three in your next. Go ahead, Nathan. I'm sorry. I'm not saying I don't I don't disagree, but you know the Pelican schedule which he just rattled off is really tough. Yeah, Clippers, it is. That's all I've okay, who does the, my question? The Clippers. Who does who does who does who does Minnesota play? Okay, Minnesota's got. Uh, let me see here. Minnesota's got Detroit at home. Win. Denver on the road. Loss. At uh, Chicago at home. Win. Houston at home. Ooh. Toronto at win, home. Win. Win. And, and then at Phoenix and at the Lakers. So they they'll be four and two in their. Out of their next six games. What about the Nuggets? Nuggets got. Nuggets are. We're not getting one. Nuggets, Nuggets got one. Phoenix at home, Minnesota at home, Cleveland at home. Three tough games. So that's one. And, that's two and one. And then at, and then San Antonio at home. Three and one. At the Clippers. Three and two. And then um, Atlanta, Utah. Well, just six. Minnesota. So that's four and two. So they they'll be four and two. Yeah, they could win all those home games. Yeah, they, they but they're, 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 win, they'll lose. They'll they lose one of those easily. They'll lose one out of those. They'll be four. Yeah. And, they'll be four and two. 
And that's what I'm saying. So we we have to be four and two because those other two yeah. teams are going to go four and two probably. They could go four and two, but they could easily go five and one. Easily, can, yeah, we can go easily go five and one if we do our business. But I don't think we can yeah. do that. Got to beat Phoenix. You got to be. You got to. You the next two wins are important. You've got to get the next two. Okay, you got to get. Home. You got to home. You got to hold the home serve. That's important. If you can win the next two, that'll save you. Then you have at the Knicks, at the Sixers, at the Celtics. And let's face it, the Knicks, you don't know which team is going to show up in the Knicks. Who knows what the team you're going to have to show up with. Then you don't know what's going to happen. But that's in Madison Square Garden. Then the Sixers. So the, the Warriors play the Mavericks. The Warriors play the Mavericks three get, three times in five days. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going to be rough on them. But I'm just right yeah. now I'm looking at us and what we've got to do. you got to beat the Knicks and you got to beat the Sixers. And Joel Embiid should be coming back about next week. By the time we play them, he should be – coming yep. back around there, but he's still going to be a little bit rusty. He's back to basketball practices. Like, he's practicing yep. now. Right, and then you've got the Celtics on back-to-back nights. The Sixers and Celtics back-to-back didn't do us any favors. No. Nope. <laughs> no favors. And then you got well, the, the, you got the, the Pacers. The East, you know, you've got a lot of those teams, you know, they're kind of like the West, uh, the 6 through 10. The Let's, East is like that 2 through 6. Yep. If you look at that, they're all – 11 games, 13 games, 13 and a half, 14 and a half, 15 and a half. There's, well, a, there's like two games that separate six from second. Yeah, the Bucks, the Bucks are uh, 11 games back. The Cavs are 13. The Knicks are four, 13 and a half. Magic, 14 and a half. Pacers, 16 and a half. And, the, and Philly's a game and a half out of the playoffs. And, yep, and they're both 18, and they're at 18 back. So there's seven games separating. That's a long, that's a long road. But the Cavs, to me, the Cavs, Knicks – Magic and Pacers, they're all sitting there for three, four, five, and six. Yep. They're, they're all right there playoffs, fighting. Man. There's a lot of evenly matched teams on both sides. Yep. And, and that's what I'm saying. We have the Knicks and the Pacers and the Sixers. And not going to get any, any breaks. They're going to nope. be playing hard. And then we turn around and we play the Bucks at the end of the year, which may or may not mean anything. Where's that at? At Milwaukee? Uh, let me see. I think it's at home. That helps me. Let me see. Uh, I have it here. Uh, last yeah, two games. You got to hope maybe Milwaukee's got the two seed wrapped uh, up. Yeah, our last our last four games – whoa, our last five games are at home. We played the Hornets okay. at home, the Kings yep. at home, the Spurs at home, the Bucks at home, and then the Mavs at home. Well, I need some – I need the OKC to play pretty well in those five games. Yeah, we got to go four and one. No. <laughs> five and oh. I mean, you got to. Well, we owe the Spurs. <laughs> We you, we owe the Spurs, and you yeah. owe the Bucks, and you got to beat the Mavs to go three one in that series. And then let's face it, the Hornets. You got to. I mean, that's to me. Lucas, Lucas just playing out of his mind. Dude, he's ridiculous, he's man. He is ridiculous. Yeah, he's just going off tonight. I mean, if to me, if the Mavs were winning, he's the MVP. Mm-hmm. If the Mavs were, if the Mavs were in our spot. He's the MVP. He kind of was MIA the first 20 games of the year. Too. I know, but that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is right now, he's yeah. the MVP if the Mavs were winning, if they were in our no, spot. I, you I know, agree. Because SGA be is, SGA play, is he fading. He's the best player in the world right now. He's ridiculous, bro. <laughs> he is just – there's no answer for him, man. That's why I said he, – he, Every time you watch him play, if you just sit and watch him play a whole game, man, he's good. He's good, man. <laughs> But you remember, he's been playing against adults since he was, what, 14? Yeah. And being being MVP in some of those leagues at 17 years old. Yeah, so, I mean, he's he's amazing. Go ahead, Nathan. Oh, I'm just going to say, interesting stat I saw tonight. Clippers since the All-Star break, teams that are over 500, they're one and nine. Yeah, what do we what do we say, Nathan? They're still the Clippers. The Clippers. (laughs) They're the Clippers, man. They'll they'll fall like a Walmart lawn chair. But I'm gonna say this: they're so new. I'm saying, hey, like I think they're locked in top three. I'm gonna tell you this: that and the Pelican schedule. I'm gonna say this: that new arena, though. Man, it's gonna be sick. Man, Intuit Arena is nice, man. But everybody ain't got two billion. It's nice to have those squatters out of our gym. Yeah, hey, hey, hey you know it ain't bad to have. Hey, <laughs> hey, here's two billion. <laughs> Let's yeah, build me whatever I want. Microsoft. Here's two billion. He's Microsoft, right? Yeah. Yeah, he Microsoft. was. Yeah, he's, yeah, here's my two billion. Now, he was Apple, Apple, I believe. Apple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's, uh, was he Apple or Microsoft? Was he Microsoft? He was Microsoft. Yeah. He was Microsoft. 
You know, because it's so funny as I was laughing because this guy goes, I can't believe he spent $2 billion for that. I go, bro, I told him, I said, bro, he's got $19 billion left after he bought him. I mean, okay. I mean, yeah, man, he spent, like, you know what I'm saying? He spent $2 billion, he's got 19 left. He's good. <laughs> I mean, he's good. He's all right. He's all right. Hey, guys, hey speaking of something here, I, I was going to, I meant to award you this. You see that interview with LeBron James and he was talking about buying a franchise and talking about Sam Presti and how much he liked Oklahoma City and all that? Yeah. That's pretty interesting. It's LeBron, man. He, he, I don't, was, he was here giving Sam Presti his I don't, I don't listen to, I don't listen to LeBron. He's trying to get Oklahoma City to, to, to draft his son who ain't coming out. He is. 100% he is. That's what he's doing, man. <laughs> And I don't want I him here. I I don't I don't I didn't want him in LA and I damn sure don't want him in Oklahoma City. No. <laughs> I didn't I want him in LA. Him. I don't I, want him I, here I, either. Dude, I, I do I do well enough to, to root for him right now. I don't root for him. Sorry. He can he can single handedly in one year ruin this entire league. Yeah, because he'd want he want so he gone, him gone, him gone. I want older guys. I mean he yeah, ruined the Lakers. Team. He ruined the Lakers. Getting rid of the team he had, you were fourth in you were fourth in defensive uh pers, yep. uh pers, proficiency. And you got Carmelo and Russell Westbrook. Yeah. Terrible. And your team went to went to hell. And you had Buddy Hale coming. You got I mean, you yeah. didn't want him. I ain't come on now. I'm yep. I'm done with him, man. I'm done with him. And my got, problem, we got one more year with you, man. One look, more year. And my got. problem with him is take credit for what you did. Don't try mm-hmm. to you, – you messed up and try to act like, oh, well, I'm not the general manager. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He was, you should, You got to check his outfit tonight, man. He's wearing a Black Panther jacket tonight. I, ain't, well, I, don't, I don't watch him, man. I try. I don't even look at him, <laughs> like, man. I don't – Can you be any more controversial and just, just sit over there if you're not going to play? I don't – I don't listen, man. I ain't got time for him, man. I don't – he – I'm through, man. I'm through with but him, Anthony man. Davis tonight, let me tell you something. 34, 23, and 3, and 3, that's an unbelievable stat line. Anthony Davis, when he wants to go, is the best center in basketball. Yep. Until he plays Jokic. No doubt. No doubt. Until he plays Jokic. Until he plays Jokic. <laughs> and Jokic just might be What's unbelievable. The no, he kills the bonus. Bonus. against him. Yeah, but he he does he he plays well What's against the- he does he plays well against the bonus. He doesn't show up against Jokic. Nah. I can't. Does he? Has he ever scored thirty on Jokic? Twenty five? No. But Sabonis no. is just a weird deal. But so anyway. Well, they just he just I don't know, man. It's frustrating. Sacramento will be a dangerous team in the playoffs. Yep, they will. They will. All right, guys. Anything else y'all want to talk about before we go? I don't think so, man. We got we, we got we're dialed in the rest of the week. You, you just laid it out. We got all kinds of NBA. We got all kinds of college. everything. It's gonna be a, gonna be a got opening day Thursday in baseball. It's gonna be a stretch run here. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Let's talk a, about hey, in another country. Let's in add, another country. Hey, let's yeah, talk. Yep. Hey, I'm yep. gonna talk about this real quick before we get off. Otani. Yeah, <laughs> half a million a game. It wasn't me. Okay, yeah, it wasn't him. <laughs> Do you believe it wasn't him? No. What no. about you, Nathan? No. I mean, had, what did he have? Like eight uh, half a million dollar withdrawals out of his account. You're gonna tell me you don't. You didn't know he didn't know it was him. Yeah, the bank didn't call you and saying you have a half a million dollars coming yeah. out of your bank. And then you, and then you can look at it like this. Okay, they they knew that that day, but it took it took Major League Baseball five days to make a statement. Yeah. So you know they were covering their ass. Oh you yeah, know, they there's every listen, possible thing they could possibly get hey, busted on. They're paying that dude. I don't know yeah. how much money they're giving him to go to jail and take the rap. Yep. You just gave this man seven hundred million. He is the he face do, of baseball. He'll do six months at a white collar criminal and then be out. Be and out. then walk away with ten or twenty million. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he'll walk. And he'll bet that. <laughs> he'll go yeah, bet that. Funny. Dude, half a million dollars, man. Whatever, bro. Eight times, like eight different games. Yeah, it's just a uh, hundred I mean, five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, then what's the crazy stuff is they were betting these prop bets on uh, on on uh, out the casinos, and then he was making these big bets, and then all these p- his buddies and stuff were betting the same thing as he did, which is what raised the red flag. Like they were betting like some obscure guy not to get eight rebounds, and they were like four million dollars on that bet, right? Which normally would cover maybe have like ten grand on it. Yeah. And it immediately raised the red flag, and then that's what busted him. Yeah, and the casinos win. I mean, they're gonna because they know hey. Yep. We're not doing that. So anyway, but I just think that that's just that's baseball yep. for you. 
That's yeah. baseball for you. But you know what? Hopefully nothing's going to happen to him. And no, he gets, we get to watch him play, hit baseballs. Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm going to tell you this. The uh, Dodgers are going to be my watch TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Nathan, you don't have a football team, do you? A baseball. No, Nathan, no, you, don't have, you don't have a football team, do you? Base, baseball? No. No, I said football. Yeah, not really. Football. Not, NFL. He's got a football. He's a, he's a yeah, Patriot. Not, not, Patriots fan, you know. I mean, oh, I'm sorry for you. I don't know, but well, you know, we did that. The Patriots win the over under is six and a half, right? Oh my god, who are they going to draft? They're going to draft quarterback. Who are they going to draft? I I don't know. I heard I listened to Traver's baseball show today, and he said that he had the again, it was Dodgers, Braves, and NLCS, and uh, Astros and Rangers, I think, in the ALCS. Oh boy. No, that would be fine. That would be fine. Hey, I'm going to tell you what. Go on, if you've never been to Minute Maid in Houston, you got to go to Houston and go to Minute Maid. Yep. Good times. Oh, man. It's it's so much better than Arlington Stadium. It's not even – they're not even – I'm like, how are y'all both – I mean, they're not even close. You know, as far as the way that the, you can watch the games and the feel of the atmosphere, I mean, the whole nine yards. Mavs, it's just not even close. Score update, Mavs are up 28 in third. Oh, yeah, it's over. Yeah, they're – Killing them. Killing them. Dude, I'm gonna say this: when Luca and Kyrie get to going, it's ridiculous. Well, and it's, again, matchups. You, know, we, you and I always talk about matchups in the playoffs. Not really about who the best team is. What matchups? Matchups. You get. And Dallas is a bad matchup for Sacramento. Yep. Yep. They can go. They can get them down the floor. Yep. They're young. They got shooters, and uh, they kind of they're a lot like Sacramento <clears> better. I agree. I agree 100%. It's, uh, no, in any sport, it's about matchups. Mm-hmm. I don't care what sport it is. It's about matchups. It really is. And you got to have – I mean, it's just like when we got beat by Princeton. Princeton was a horrible matchup for us the first game. If we yep. had played them the second game, we would have smashed them. Where was that? Where, were, where did you guys play it? Oregon. Diego? Oregon. Oregon. It was out on the West Coast. Oregon State, yep. And oh. Corvallis, the school that I, that I turned down to go to Oklahoma State. <laughs> Which of course uh, that's some, out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, Corvallis is out. It's beautiful out there, though, bro. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I'm was... looking forward to the show Thursday. Should be good. We should have a lot of stuff to talk about. Yep, so. we'll be there uh, at uh, at Industry on Thursday, and then it'll be at the at the Bank Y and B on Friday. So Sounds we'll good. be there. All right, fellas. Appreciate that, my guy Drew Hinton, the Husker Drew Picks, and my guy Nathan Taylor. Y and B. So I appreciate you guys being on tonight, helping us out. And hey, nice Thunder W one nineteen one twelve, improving the fiftieth, their eighth fifty win season. Pretty impressive.